Hey everybody, welcome back to Northern Line Plays the Binding of Isaac Rebirth. We are on a four streak. My keyboard froze for a second there when I was going past the Lost, almost hit space, and played as the Lost. That would have been bad. Tammy's head, um, mom's panties, and a Skype message just in time to be super annoying. 4RC6B10J. Alright. Well, uh, what do I like about this? I love the Tammy's head pickup. It has great synergies and the shots uh, are a little larger. They do a little bit more damage. It would be stupid to not at least uh, pick it up, you know? That way we can take it out of the rotation. I wish we got to keep ball of bandages forever, but that's alright. Monster Manuel showing up early is pretty terrible, but uh, we don't necessarily need that much momentum to have a, a good chance at success here. I mean, Tammy's head is a nice damage upgrade. Actually seems like our rate of fire is is decent and uh... Ah! I got trapped by the poop! What the? Where did that poop come from? Was, was that poop always there? Oh, it was Mysterious Candy! Mysterious Candy made me poop and trapped me so I couldn't take my traditional dodging spot. Okay, you're... You're out of here, mister. You just lost your... You lost your place on the team thanks to that blunder, Lucas Spiza. Okay. Let's come back this way. Um, so I'm, I'm salty over that, but it does make things interesting, that's for darn sure. Uh, we got one HP, please don't put us up against the haunt, is, is all I ask. Um, pin fight is completely fine. One bomb now allows us to get a tinted rock if there is one available, so I'm gonna look for one. Oh, I'm a little, I'm a little salty. There is a tinted rock. I... I feel like this should work, but I really want to make sure I'm placing the bomb appropriately. That one's for all y'all who said that I always place my bombs incorrectly and should not be pushing them, just placing them where I want them to be. The bomb pushing strategy paid out quite nicely there, if I do say so myself. And we are fighting pins, so it was probably not like an enormous concern. Either way, that was a really nice Tammy's head across the broadside there. Um, so it looks like we're fine, but let's be honest, it was a little scary there uh, momentarily. Now that we have 10 cents, I am considering um, buying a Spirit Heart on this floor, but I'd rather save my key so we can get to the item room on the next floor. Hopefully we'll get another key and be able to buy a Spirit Heart down there, but uh, for now, I'm pretty pleased with the way this has worked out. Very happy we got two Spirit Hearts out of that uh, red chest, and you know there's nothing wrong with uh, Blood Clot as well. I recognize that I did not go to the Curse Room on the last floor, that was a deliberate, uh, deliberate decision. Probably born out of the fact that I had... Uh, so little HP that I was maybe overly cautious despite getting those two spirit hearts. There's another nickel down there. Whew, okay, so it, I mean we're not out of the woods yet by any stretch of the imagination. We're at Blue Baby's level of HP with uh, a damage upgrade in Tammy's head. It's good, you know, above average probably for an Eden start at this point, but um, you know we got a long way to go. My reflection I, I usually take. Our shots are still pretty pretty okay here. Tammy's head is going to be a lot worse, I think, but if we get range upgrades, it'll make up for it, and I mostly I take this stuff because it's weird, and if we get like a Cricket's Body or a Parasite or something like that, God forbid we get Ipecac to go along with it, but you get the idea. Hold on to this for now. We have a red chest. I would love for this to pay out with Spirit Hearts. Just be cool here. Alright. Those are two Spirit Hearts, so I think we can totally justify fighting our boss right now. And if I plan this accordingly, yeah, it actually worked out extremely well. Alright, so we got a guaranteed deal with the devil, no curse of the blind, so I know exactly um, what we're getting, and I know exactly how much HP I have to give for it, and I know uh, how much we'll get in return, and I know how much I have, which is not always something that is, uh, you know, guaranteed on this floor. It's a little bit of a luxury, so I'm happy. Get another HP upgrade, that's gonna be real HP though. And Brimstone! Tammy said Brimstone. We are now officially in go fuck yourself game territory. Range upgrade is effectively meaningless. So is the, um, my reflection pickup that we just had, but I'm loving it regardless. This is going to be awesome. Guppy's head. We could actually, and I think I'm gonna try, uh, I, I think we can beat the game in like record time now. You'll forgive me? How many times do we get this you know, exact combination right here. You might say a lot, but it's probably happened like, I don't know, maybe five, six times in my entire, uh, you know, series, so it's something that's always on the back of my mind to look for, but now that we have it, I'm like, oh shit, yeah, we should definitely, like, we should try to set a decent time here. And I have killed myself with speedrunning before, but you have to imagine that this is pretty much like, 
infallible. You know, this one is, like, impossible to mess up. I'm excited, man. I've had some shitty runs lately, and this one almost went shitty right from the get-go. And again, like, not all the shitty runs that I've had have been the game's faults. <laughs> A lot of them have been uh, my own fault, admittedly, but... Uh, this should give me the potential to put down a really good time. Definitely thinking that, you know, like a sub-20 is possible here. Not that I'm much of a, uh, a speedrunner to begin with, but it seems like a sub-20 is, is reasonable here. And could be a lot of fun, because this is uh, probably a foregone conclusion already. So to have the ability to uh, put down a sweet time would be excellent. Now, you should brace yourselves, because I am going to skip a lot of stuff that usually you would not skip. You know, usually... You would make sure you're going to every single room with a run like this, making sure you get all the consumables, etc, etc. Um, I cannot do this as much as you probably wish that I would. I can't do it. But I will try to take a look for some mapping quickly. And if there's not mapping, we might use the D6 to try to um, swing it. And I don't think we can really... Well, you know, let's reroll that, actually. That seems like a very suitable reroll. Um, we don't need to blow up our donation machine. Instead, we'll just come in here. I'm slowing down. I'm getting scared, man. But uh, it's okay. But yes, prepare yourself for probably the fact that I will not do my due diligence as often as you would probably like me to if you're one of those people who enjoys um, watching someone do their due diligence in the game. I do want to buy a key just in case. Um, and that's okay, you know, we'll, we'll be fine regardless, we'll survive, I promise you that. However, I think on a run like this where winning is pretty much guaranteed, it would just be fun to make sure that we can, uh, you know, bring some entertainment to it by having a little bit of a ridiculous uh, speed run here, if you will. Code hanger. I don't think it hurts. Whether or not it helps remains to be seen, but I certainly don't think it hurts. Alright, down to the next floor. Mapping is something that's on my uh, to-do list if we can get it, but if we can't, uh, just raw speed upgrades would be fine. Also, like, a trinket. Should probably go back for that key. They're giving me, like, this is Northern Lion special here right now, man. Like, Monster Manuel obviously is shitty, but then we have so many items that I'm a huge fan of. Undefined is so much fun. And, uh, we, we had to not take the D6, which is, you know, crazy to me. Are you a wizard? Doesn't do anything with Brimstone. I know I just got hit twice on the same room, but had I not, this actually would be, uh, something that I'd consider almost lost-worthy right here. And, honestly, I think we kind of just bolt out of this floor as well. We're already done with it. we got to deal with the devil coming up, where hopefully we'll pick up some more damage or speed, maybe. I had a feeling, you know, the, the Krampus fight was probably in the cards for us at some point. And Lump of Coal is not going to do anything for us, but we'll head down to the next floor. We did leave that key behind. At the same time, we finished that floor in like 10 seconds, so I sort of feel like I'm vindicated somewhat. That's another Are You a Wizard pill, which honestly we might as well take because it really doesn't make a difference. Might as well just uh, not have to deal with the extra second and a half that it'll take me to drop it. Don't really want that. Uh, again, if we weren't speedrunning, we'd probably try that. I'm so self-conscious when I speedrun, because I know people are going to be like, Oh, it's so boring to watch you speedrun, but... This is literally like the 1 in 3,000... Well, not 3, that's ridiculous. This is like the 1 in 200 chance, where I'm like, Yes, we've got all this stuff, and we've gotten it super early. Let's get a move on, because we can have uh, an awful lot of fun here. It does open me up to more backseating than usual as well, because people will be like, Oh, go into the shop, you got 99 bombs. Blow up the donation machine and see if you can pick up some mapping. That's actually, like, a really great idea. But I, I am pretty much just in the, the, like, go fast kind of school of thought. And... Some of the higher level tactics are a little lost on me. You can see, like, our actual damage with Brimstone is not that good. It's mostly just our clearing ability is, is crazy. I mean, our damage with the Brimstone is not bad. But, uh, it, it could be better. So we're at, like, a... Eight minute, basically, mom fight here. We've gotten pretty lucky with uh, small floors and choosing the right directions. Spiders are going to be helpful, and you got to think that we're going to be generating a pretty decent number of them, except on rooms like this, because I will be um, killing most enemies with my Tammy's head payout or my Tammy's head action. So it won't be so much of a, uh, you know, spider killing. Thus, the spiders themselves will not die. And I will live. And there is a key for sale, so that's what I'm going to buy here. Probably won't buy the Are You a Wizard pill, in case you were curious. There's a Tinted Rock. We should actually blow that up. Oh, Jesus. Where am I? What's going on? We've lost the Tinted Rock. That's okay. We'll come back for that never, I promise. 
This is alright. This one's better anyway. We want a sp uh, tinted rock. And by tinted rock, I mean small rock. It's okay. My brain's getting a little confused. But it's a good kind of confusion because we're balling out of control. Rusted key. Absolutely. Hoping this is the direction of the boss fight. And honestly thinking it probably is the direction of the boss fight. What could possibly be on this uh, boss rush that would make me go for it? It's a very interesting question. I'm almost, I'm like, it's unfathomable that I would want to do boss rush in this situation. We have one guppy item, so we should definitely pick up a second guppy item. If we're speedrunning, you might say take the shovel, but uh, we'll lose Tammy's head. It'll slow us down more than it's worth. Nothing in there is worth it. All right. Nine minutes. <laughs> Nine minutes and down to the uh, utero one. And the fact that we have Curse of the Lost is honestly not that big of a deal, because we have no idea where the hell we're going anyway. I'm going to keep the clock up because there's no map to obscure us right now, which I think is uh, is nice. I'm almost thinking that if there's a red chest in here, we open it. That's okay. Don't really need the money that badly. Let's pretend we're racing for our life and the only thing that matters is our speed here. Money can't be that useful. Oh, the tarot card can, though. We can definitely use that on... Probably the next floor, just to ensure that we can use it. You know, you never know if maybe we get an Emperor card or something on the next floor as well. This could end up being a sub... Uh, to be fair, you're probably looking at a sub-15. But there is a chance that we could actually um, go even a little faster than that. I think sub-15 is maybe a little bit uh, of a conservative estimate here. We'll see, though. I mean, it helps that we're killing the bosses right away. That's pretty sweet. And the Emperor, sorry, the World card right here is going to be awesome. Hopefully we can pick up an Emperor card along the way. I doubt it, but it is uh, doable for sure. So World card gets popped, and we want to go to the left. And we will definitely hit up the Curse Room along the way as well. I mean, <laughs> I recognize that I haven't done my due diligence very well. But at the same time, I'm kind of like, have you seen us take any damage? No, right? Like, we're not, the only damage we're taking is from the Curse Room. Like, we're not in a position where we're very likely to die at all here. Please. Thank you. Got lucky there, I'd say. Thank God we went back to pick up those bombs. I don't know what I would have done with only 98 of them. We left a couple alive here. This is going to slow us down ever so slightly. There's a tinted rock. We'll blow that up quickly. Could be a telepills. You never know. Could be a speed down. It's full health. Good to know for the future, but for now, pretty much worthless. All right. I'm amazed that that actually did enough damage, but I guess it's because we got right up in the grill there. All right. Let's hope for no curses. That's good. We're at 1044. This is a much faster run than I was expecting when I started up Rebirth right now. And I would say that's a cool thing. I'm not going to say this is the way I want to play most of the time. However, um, you know, with great uh, power comes great responsibility. We'll go to the curse room again. And it ended up pretty much paying for itself directly. Still hoping that sub-15 ends up coming in here. That was not good damage on my part, but also, as it was happening, I was like, this is what's going to happen. And to be honest with you, we really could use uh, some extra damage upgrades, because I know that we're not going to kill Isaac in one hit. So, at least I think we're not going to kill Isaac in one hit. So we're going to need to, you know, do some brimstone damage. And you've noticed probably that my brimstone damage is not particular are not particularly amazing, so uh, I would like to mix it up here. I should also just bomb my way out of this room, but maybe if we get Mr. Mega, that's the that's the damage upgrade we need to kill Isaac quickly after Tammy's head goes off. No, just bombs and keys. Okay, um, this is a room that we'll bomb our way out of because I hate it. And then we'll kill these guys and we'll bomb our way out of it again on the other side because I hate it. Oh, that was the worst damage. You can't lose this run now. No, 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 no. You can't lose this run now. If you lose it now, you take away the biggest part of me. There we go. An extra spirit art could come in handy here. And that's actually Guppy. So I'm pretty sure that this is now set in stone. Oh, don't do me dirty like this. That is not even a telepills. Oh, you dirty dog. I didn't even see this one down here. All right, so now we're going to be generating flies like crazy. Probably should not have done that in hindsight. And we're lucky we actually are going to have a Tammy's head charge for the boss fight. And now Tammy's head may actually be able to get the kill because of the flies that we're generating. But it didn't, but it was very close. 
By the way, I'd like to point out, I don't think a, a sub-15 minute run is necessarily that uh, impressive when you have Tammy's head, Brimstone, and Guppy. But it is impressive for me. And uh, I think this will be probably the fastest run that I've at least ever put to, to video here. Could be faster, but pretty solid. I'm not even going to take the HP because I just feel like um, the lard is going to slow me down. Might as well, I guess. I mean, that's going to slow me down as well. Probably as much as lard would over the course of the whole floor, but whatever. Nun's Habit also would have been dope if we'd managed to pick that up, but we didn't, and that's okay. We got a rune there. We should see what it is. Hagalaz is fair to say not really what I was looking for. Robo Baby is so worthless that I don't even think it's worth going back for. Sorry, one of you is still alive? I refuse to believe this. Just a key, so we're not missing out on anything there. Come on, I, I said sub-15. Let's do sub-15. Let's do sub-15. Ooh, it's a small damage upgrade that probably makes up for the second and a half that I spent going back for it. Mr. Mega is what we asked for, but at the same time, we were already moving in the other direction. Alrighty then. This one is already over. <laughs> That's pretty amazing. So we're going to clock in at like a 14.10, 14.05 here. That's pretty ridiculous. Thanks for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this very short episode. If you did, click the like button. It helps out a great deal. And of course, subscribe if you want to see more in the future. For now, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.